In this clip, I'm going to briefly talk about nitroglycerin. Um, we're going to go over like what kind of patients are going to have nitroglycerin, what does it do, and stuff like that. All right, so anything that involves nitroglycerin, I'm going to try to cover it briefly. So what type of patient will be prescribed nitroglycerin? It's going to be a cardiac patient. That's in general, all right? But specifically, if a patient has a history of coronary artery disease, also known as CAD, this patient will have nitroglycerin prescribed to them. So in order to know why they have nitroglycerin prescribed, we have to know what CAD is, all right? So what it actually is in the body is a narrowing of the coronary arteries. You have these vessels that wrap around the top of the heart, right? So this is the heart and the vessels go over the heart. These vessels feed the, the heart itself with blood so it can receive the oxygen to pump and stay alive. So that's what's actually going on with CAD. It's a narrowing that means the inside of the tubes that feeds the blood, the vessels, it's becoming narrower, smaller, so narrow. And if that happens, it sometimes prevents enough blood from getting to a part of the heart, right? So let's say if there's a narrowing right here that becomes so narrow that barely any blood gets to this part, well, nitroglycerin will help bring, will help blow it up or dilate it. It's a vasodilator, so it's going to expand the artery to allow blood to get to that part. Now, what exactly is causing the narrowing? Usually, it's plaque. So it's like uh, just pretend there's fat on the inside, or just assume there's fat. So plaque or flat or fat, whatever you want to use, either one of these two, and there's a layer of it inside the vessel, and that layer creates like a natural constriction, a narrowing, all right, that normally should not be there. And that's when this occurs. Now, a good example is your patient is working out, right? You have a, a patient that's working out. And this patient, if they have fat around the plaque, I mean, plaque or fat, whatever you want to call it, on the inside of the lumen, the inside of the vessel, this patient may not be used to working out as much, right? But let's say one day they want to try it out. They want to get healthy, whatever the case may be and they go work out. Well, when you work out, your vessels constrict. Now, when this person starts to work out and they're constricting a vessel that's already constricted naturally because of that extra layer of fat that should not be there, now that constriction can prevent blood from getting to a certain part of the heart. And that's when uh, nitroglycerin comes into play and nitroglycerin opens up the vessels. That's what it does. So I uh, pulled up a so you can see that. I, I pulled up a, a picture on Google. So coronary arteries, they go around the heart and they feed the heart itself with blood, right? So fat deposits, aka plaque, either one, um, they'll create this narrowing here in some parts of the heart, all right? Inside, inside I'm, I'm sorry, not parts of your heart, inside parts of the coronary arteries that wrap around the heart and see how that's creating a constriction that normally would not be there and should not be there. Now, if this person was to go work in the lawn, go for a jog, and they don't normally do that, this is going to constrict even more, closing that up. And nitroglycerin helps uh, in situations like that. So that's what nitroglycerin does. It's going to open this up to make it bigger to allow for that blood to continue and feed the heart. Okay? Okay, so uh, when symptoms. So when would this patient normally use their nitroglycerin so a symptom would be chest pain all right but specifically angina every time you see angina think of chest pain but it relates to the heart itself all right angina is chest pain because there's an issue with the heart part of the heart isn't getting oxygen um, and blood therefore you have chest pain and we call that chest pain angina because of the situation now a patient with CAD, coronary artery disease, usually they'll have what's called stable angina. That's normal for them. Stable angina means that when this patient, let's say that she was working out. When she was working out, this vessel constricted and became more narrow. And because of the plaque that's already there, it created a complete obstruction so blood can't go down this way, right? But when this patient relaxes, sits down, and takes a break from working out, this vessel will normally dilate, 
and this little opening will open back up again and allow for whatever amount of blood she was used to to go through there to continue to go through there again and the pain will go away that's called stable angina because it's controlled because it was hurting when she was working out because of the constriction and the extra layer but when she sat down everything relaxed this opened back up the pain went away that is stable angina there's also something called unstable angina unstable angina is when the pain does not go away and usually if the pain does not go away it's not CAD it's something else besides CAD now a patient that has CAD it, it could kind of prompt that to happen the other issue but um, that's for another video but anyways a patient with CAD coronary artery disease will have stable angina now nitroglycerin helps to relax that and dilate that even more to allow for more blood flow to go to a part of the heart. And I hope you guys are still following me with that. All right, so natural helps relieve uh, both stable and unstable angina. So no matter what, nitroglycerin is gonna help your patient, whether it's just stable angina, meaning that it's because of CAD, or unstable angina, which is for another reason, and I should be on the next page. Let's see. Sorry, I'm just kind of doing this in between stuff. All right. So how does nitroglycerin help? Uh, how does it work? So it's a vaso dilator, right? What does this actually mean? It dilates, it expands something. So a vasodilator, it means that it's going to make the vessel bigger. It's going to make it wider than what it already is. So it's going to grow. So a patient with CAD has just this layer, right? This layer of extra fat that should not be there. So it's already constricted. So when they go work out, the constriction is going to cause an obstruction, which prevents blood flow. Once they stop working out, or they relax, this will most likely subside and it will go back to normal, right? To their baseline, which allows for the amount of blood they were used to getting. Now, nitroglycerin still helps with this, and it's, and it's good to give it to them if they have it, if they have chest pain. It's only going to benefit them even more, all right? Now, another issue that could be happening is acute coronary syndrome. Acute meaning a sudden. It means they have a partial obstruction from either something that just floated in here, or, there was an, uh, uh, or maybe the fat from the CAD ruptured and causing a buildup of, of um, platelets. Whatever the case may be, right? But it's, a, it's just a partial obstruction. So that a little bit of blood is getting by to feed uh, the tissue, but it still hurts and it's still not enough blood. So the nitroglycerin, again, will expand the vessel, make it bigger. This will not grow. This will stay exactly how it is, but the vessel is now wider and the blood will go around the obstruction. Okay? That's acute coronary syndrome. Now, the other case could be a myocardial infarction, a.k.a a heart attack all right a heart attack is a myocardial infarction and that means that there's a complete obstruction in one of the arteries of the heart and but the same thing happens nitroglycerin will widen this the obstruction stays the exact same size it may flay, flow down or it may be stuck to the side of the wall but the blood will go around the obstruction because the nitroglycerin made the vessel bigger and that is it for this clip Hope you guys found it useful on...